American Assassin stars Dylan O'Brien and Michael Keaton and is based off the character from the Mitch Rapp universe. The series of novels, very successful. And here we get to see his inception as a counter-terrorist agent. The film starts out and he faces a terrible tragedy on the beach. It's a very harrowing scene and extremely well done and it sets you up for his character and makes you care about him pretty quickly. And for the first act, I was actually pretty invested in American Assassin because you get to see this guy go through probably the lowest of low you can imagine and then build himself into something else, this extremely powerful person who on his own, with no help from the government, is trying to figure out how he can infiltrate terrorist groups to kill everybody because he's so mad at terrorists. And that was kind of fun. But then the movie starts to get more serious. But what saved the movie constantly for me were the performances, particularly Dylan O'Brien's, who's excellent in this movie, and I would love to see him be given a great screenplay. Because in the Maze Runner films and here, he continues to prove himself to be a very unique and exciting actor who really throws himself into action sequences and does a lot of really good work. He's really excellent in this movie, and I wish that he would be given a better role. And Michael Keaton, who gets to really go crazy in specific scenes. There's a scene where his character deals with his ultimate nemesis, played by Taylor Kitsch. And that scene is so good. He is just live wire, insane Michael Keaton, like we haven't seen in a really long time. Not since, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. So it's those performances that kept the movie watchable, but its story gets so bogged down in a lot of twists and turns, and it loses sight of itself. It also is trying to be a very serious and sometimes somber movie, when I feel like this story could have benefited, I don't want to say exactly like a commando type film, but just a little more levity. I'm not saying this movie should be silly, it's definitely a serious-minded film, it's just that sometimes it gets boring because it's so bogged down in its self-seriousness that it doesn't really feel like it has a life a lot of the time, and it's the performances from Keaton and O'Brien that keep it interesting. Some of the actors in this film, though, did disappoint me. I'm not sure if this is how you pronounce her name, but Sanaa Lathan from Alien vs. Predator, I found her very one-note here. Taylor Kitsch does his best with the material that he's given. His material could have been a lot stronger, though. He has a grudge. He has a reason to be a villain. He has a reason to understand and feel that he is the good guy, which will always make a more interesting and compelling villain when they feel like they're doing the right thing, that he's sometimes reduced to just a guy who pops up every once in a while and shoots somebody and then disappears again. As for the action scenes, as I said, Dylan O'Brien really does put himself in them, and he does a lot of it himself, and I was impressed with his work, and although sometimes it can get too shaky and there's too many cuts, it, it, it didn't really bother me, but there wasn't that really memorable action scene that just blew me away. It's all fairly serviceable. This movie, I wouldn't say, is bad. It's sometimes boring, the plot can get a little cheesy, its politics can be a little murky, a couple of the performances are a bit one note, but O'Brien and Keaton keep it fun enough. I'm gonna give American Assassin a C+. This could have been better, and I really want to see Dylan O'Brien in a great movie. He has the chops for it, he has the ability. I would love to see him in a great film. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.